Okay. Hey, how's it going? Sunday, fun day, Sunday vibes. Got to stream for a bit. Really what I want to do. Since I smoke cigars a lot and drink whiskey, I figured why not actually do a cigar review? Hey, look at that. I got this thing right here. It's an $8 cigar. It's called Nub. All right. It's actually made by Olivia. I tried the uh, Cameroon the other day. I really enjoyed this. This is the Habano. Okay. It's four by 60 for eight bucks. I was reluctant at first. I, I don't really go for the short ones. <laughs> you know, the joke there. But if this is anything, gonna, if this is going to be like the Cameroon, I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, it was, that was one of those moments when I realized, you know what? It's not about the size. It's about the quality, right? Yeah, this is a four incher. Let, let, let me measure it. Yeah, it's four inches. <laughs> it's a four incher. Um, but it's uh it's good. It's really good. I mean, if it's anything like the Cameroon. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet, so I can't really say it's good. But here we go. So this is nub. Nub habona, okay. Let me uh go and light it. I'm gonna light it using uh matches here. And while I get this started, let me ask here, what is your favorite cigar if you are a cigar connoisseur? If not, what is your favorite slice of pizza? Let's uh let's get two questions there. The best slice of pizza. And best cigar. Alright, now I'm gonna Try to light this perfectly. Hmm. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to even cut it. Dang. Getting ahead of myself. This butane lighter has a has a nice cutter right there, nice. But uh, I'm out of butane. Besides, even if I had some, I light it with the match anyway. That's how you're really supposed to do it, right? What? How did this go out? How did this go out? That's the problem with lighting with a match. A butane lighter, though, you won't you won't have that problem. My favorite cigar I've had so far is really the Insidious by Asylum. That is really good. And it's just a $5, $6 cigar. That's all it is. I like it. <clears throat> I do. I do. There's a there's a bit of a spice, kind of a espresso, earthy tone, earthy flavor to this. Hmm, the smell is really nice. It's really earthy. Really has a has a sort of like a wood sort of smell to it, um, like a cedar, you know. Cedar, yeah. This this would actually pair well with a uh, with a coffee.
and being a little short, being four inches, <laughs> being four inches, this could actually make well for a um, like a, a breakfast cigar, uh, a morning cigar. I have this before work. Maybe not every day because after all, cigars are expensive, but maybe <clears throat> on a good day, a day that you really need it. Like a cigar shouldn't be an everyday thing. It should be something that you earn, right? A treat. Well, they do that. Maybe maybe it's a Friday thing. Maybe it's a Friday thing. <clears throat> maybe it's a special occasion. I mean, if you have the money to make it every day, that's that's sh sure. Shoot, go ahead. <laughs> that's crazy. That was bright. That was bright. I saw that. <clears throat> mm. Oh yeah, I like the flavor of this. It's really good. I'm being a cigar. I have plenty of stuff to talk about now. Plenty of time to talk about it. Um, like I mentioned earlier, best pizza, best pizza. Oh, before I get started, I'm mean, gonna get carried away. I need a nice whiskey to go with this. Well. This would actually, this nub, Havana would actually go well with a coffee. Probably would go well too with this, um, with the with the dark, with the Kraken, with the dark rum over there. Would probably do pretty well with that. And that's the Kraken coffee. What I'll do instead though, is I got this Silver Star whiskey. All right, made here in Texas. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. Now, some people like to dip their cigars in their whiskey. I've not done that. I don't do that. Uh, it's not that I wouldn't do that. I don't. There's not the need for it. I don't. I don't see the need. I guess people like to do that to get the flavor. But like, I wouldn't enjoy the cigar if I, if, if I want to mix. Sure. I'd, I'd... There. Yeah. I don't. But that's that's my thing. This whiskey is pretty good. Texas Silver Star, nice. Goes well. Goes well with the nub, Habano. Now, best slice of pizza. I love my pizza. I do. I mean, if you're gonna get food advice, if you can get food information, get it from someone who is large, right? Get it from someone who has some meat on their bones, some fat. <laughs> now, when I ask this question, sometimes I get a response of like Domino's or Papa John's or Pizza Hut. I'm going to have to stop you right there. If your answer to the best slice of pizza is anything that involves the major brands, you're gonna have to pause yourself and check yourself. Because when you answer like that, that tells me you have not tried your local pizzerias. You have not tried them. You haven't, you haven't gone outside the box. You played it stay safe, you stayed in the mainstream pizza lane. You gotta open up, expand your horizons. Hey, if Domino's or Papa John's or pizza is your thing, that's your thing, man. I'm not going to shame you for it. But I will say, you got to open up, expand your horizons, man, because they're, they're, I, mean, I guarantee you, I guarantee you there is a pizzeria near you that has a flavor that's much better than any of the mainstream pizza places. That is, of course, if you live in an area that uh, hasn't been totally shuttered and shattered by, you know, the COVID lockdowns. I mean...
small businesses, man. But I would imagine that even a pizzeria could could survive because takeout, takeout is, is is in high in demand, right? Now, I got a few places in this area. If you live in Houston, um, in this particular part, man, there used to be this pizza place called Mario's. There, there is another one in Galveston. I have not tried that, but the one that uh, was in Webster lovely Mario's pizza Mario's flying pizza hmm great sauce great cheese great great crust lovely I have not found I haven't found one that really beats it but they beat themselves uh, it was family owned they sold out and they sold and it was demolished So, now, another really good one is Angelo's Pizza. Ooh, man, really good, really good. I like I like Mario's a little bit better. Um, if I want, but that's more like I think they do deliver. I'm not sure. You know what? I don't think they do. That's that's a pizzeria. You go there to eat a pizza, like a place like. Well, I'm in St. Angelo's, and if you live in this part of Houston, you know what I'm talking about. Angelo's Pizza is, is top stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, however, for delivery, there's Stefano's. Stefano's is really good. Really good. But Angelo's has a better product, better bread, better cheese, better sauce, and I love the sauce, man. I got a nod from PPP. You made it? Well, that's good, man. Sweaty, sweaty men rise up. Fat, sweaty men need to rise up. I don't do this for any nod. I don't do this for any attention. I do it. Sometimes I even wonder why I even do it. I want to talk about it. I, I did a video where I talked about someone that's totally irrelevant. Irre irre Relevant? Re re I can barely talk right now. Jesus Christ! Not relevant. Wow, wow. Hey guys, I wasn't lying when I said I have dyslexia. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, best pizza. Best pizza. All this pels in the face to this pizzeria in Galveston, Texas. And I believe it's just called New York Pizzeria. That's it. That's it. That's the name. And if you ever, a lot of people know, more, you go down to Galveston, Texas, you got to go there. You want a pizza place, you got to go there. They have slices. Like, I've never seen slices this big before. They're like, a, I think a $5, I would say like, yeah, like a $5 slice, but it's massive. It's gigantic. Like, okay. Hmm. You see this book right here? Which, by the way, you should buy this book. Monsters Exist. Great read. It's the size of this book. I'm not exaggerating. It's actually wider than this book. The crust part is actually wider than that book. That's one slice. No, it's not a $5 slice. I think it's like an $8 slice. Because I remember... No, it, it might be a... It might be a $10 slice. Because when I go there, I look at them like, Man, that is, that is a, a lot of money for a slice. But when you see how big it is... Would you see how big and massive that slice is? It really puts things in perspective. Oh, and of course, I mean, like we said earlier in the beginning of this, size is nothing if the quality is bad, right? Oh, but son, that quality is good. Fresh ingredients, nice crust, 
good cheese, good sauce. Mmm. Oh, by the way, this place, amazing wings too. Dude, when you order, order hot wings at the New York Pizzeria in Galveston, Texas, you don't just get wings. They like give you like whole freaking chicken. Like the wings are massive, dude. They're like big as your fist. Like, what the hell, man? They, they got some GMO chickens over here or something. I like it though. So yeah, like I said, this nub, Habano, is really good. It's a handmade cigar. Has a nice setter, espresso sort of flavor to it. It's full bodied, man. Very, very robust and full bodied. You're gonna enjoy it if you like cigars. Don't let the size fool you. Look, I'm still. T I do like a, an hour long live stream just about every other uh, every other day, and this will last an hour, man. This could last an hour. I mean, I've been streaming for almost 20 minutes now, and I think I lost an inch of this thing, just an inch. And I'm smoking it fast, right? Is normally when I'm chilling, just you know, watching the kids or whatever as they play, and just kind of chilling with with, with a beer or whiskey and a cigar, dude. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to get through it fast. This, because I know I'm kind of crunched for time. Not really, and I feel like I'm I feel like I'm committing a crime here. Not really taking the time to really enjoy it, really relax with it. So you know what? Let me change that up. I got plenty of time. It's Sunday. It's a Sunday fun day. Sunday vibes. Be a lazy Sunday. I have nothing uh, uh, nothing else I need to do. Hmm. Now, of course, I guess for, <laughs> for Twitch purposes, don't smoke cigars unless you can. Unless it's age appropriate, right? Mm. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, guys, I'm gonna play some Final Fantasy VI. I'm gonna play some Final Fantasy VI. I have no idea what I'm doing now. I couldn't tell you. I never know what I'm doing in this game. We got some, like, magic. Magicite stuff. I don't know what it is. Let's go take a look at that. How's it going, Cool Tactic? How you doing? There we go. Is that a good volume for you? All right, ad break time. Smell this cigar. Ooh, I'm loving it. Thank you. 
All right, let's get ready. Let's do this. Uh, where we last left off, ah, uh, you know what? We'll figure it out live. Okay, do I know what I'm even doing? No, but is that okay? It, it, I don't care what you say, it's okay. <laughs> you know, that's the truth. We're going to <clears throat> figure this out. We got this ash stuff. We're supposed to go to a, a, a Magitech facility and free people. Now, do I know where a Magitech facility is at? No. Does the game tell me? It, it probably did, and I just didn't pay attention. Or maybe it didn't. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say it didn't. I'm blaming, I'm blaming the game. It didn't tell me, man. Um. I thought there was like a world map. Okay, so hmm. we have to find a Magitech facility. Yes. That's what we do, man. What does a pendant do? Oh. Okay. Well, uh, um. I say we go back to the castle that brought us here. And then we go from there. Right? There was a castle that brought us here. The castle that goes under the ground. That moves under the ground like a crazy... Crazy thing. <laughs> I got a chainsaw. You can steal from some, steal from this guy. <laughs> 